hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little different we're not going to be talking about hair I want to have a discussion with you all about something that I experienced last year that I know probably the majority or most of you have also experienced or maybe some of you might be going through it as we speak and that is going through a heartbreak now I know this is February and there's a lot of love in the air it is Valentine's Day season so you're going to be seeing couples everywhere you're going to be seeing people expressing their love on social media on TV even outside when you go outside all around you so when you're a single woman and especially if you're going through a breakup at this time this time of the year can be especially hard and that is something that I experienced last year so I wanted to come on here and share what I learned from my experience and let's have a discussion and talk about it I realized that going through a breakup is something that women a lot of women experience but rarely talk about we kind of just keep everything in and try to be strong especially black women we always try to be strong and these are some of the things that we avoid talking about but I feel like it shouldn't be like that we should all be open about it share our experience and I think if we do that will also help to prevent a lot of young women from experiencing the same things that we've experienced so I'm going to be sharing with you all five things that you can do if you're going through a breakup and how you can emerge even stronger and better than you were before so I have everything written down and I'm going to go down the list so the number one thing that I have on the list is that you need to allow yourself to mourn going through a breakup is basically like losing somebody and it's okay to feel hurt you're gonna feel hurt you're gonna feel alone you're going to be doubting yourself you know you're gonna have downtime and you're gonna feel sad and most of the time especially black women and African women we try to tell ourselves you're strong you don't need him you will get over it you get somebody better and we always try to brush it off and not really embrace the feeling that we're feeling and the hurt that we're feeling so cry if you need to it's okay to cry crying doesn't mean that you're weak actually having the courage to share your emotions and the things that you're feeling is a sign of courage and strength and not weakness so allow yourself to cry eat a dozen donuts you know Eat the whole tub of ice cream whatever you need to do and just let it all out don't hold anything in if you need to talk to a friend if you have a friend that you can talk to talk to them cry on their shoulder and get it all out just don't stay in that mode forever <laughs> that's not what we're trying to do we just it's therapeutic to be able to allow yourself to feel all the hurt and the sadness and the emotions and everything that you're feeling and just allow your body to just get it out of your system so once you do that and once you kind of you know calm down and come back to yourself a bit then it is time to reflect but before you do that and this tip might not go for everybody if you're not religious then this might not go for you but I'm a Christian woman and I believe in prayer I say before you even move start to pick back up your life where you left off go down in prayer ask God to help you through this difficult time pray for healing and pray for guidance and clarity in your mind to be able to make you know the right choices moving forward I really truly believe that prayer does work and God does listen and even if you don't believe that God is listening to you just having somebody to talk about that you know that the conversation is going to be confidential you know it's just between you and him you and God whatever God you believe in and nobody's there is actually very therapeutic you know you're able to get your feelings out and you know that somebody is there that is actually listening to you so go down in prayer tell God everything that you're going through ask for healing ask for clarity and ask for guidance moving forward so that brings us to step number three so step number three is reflect on what happened and when I say reflect I'm not saying go back to that sad stage where we left off now that was number one you know allow yourself to be hurt and everything but now it's time to reflect 
So reflect on both sides, not just, you know, even if your partner was the one who went wrong, maybe he cheated on you or he treated you badly, it still takes two to be in a relationship. So reflect on what went wrong with him, but also reflect on yourself. Some of the things that maybe you could have done differently. Maybe there were certain signs that you saw, but you chose to ignore because you were in love. Maybe there were things that you could have done differently. Maybe it just didn't work out between you two because you, were, you weren't getting along. Maybe you were having a lot of fights and a lot of disagreements. So try to figure out some of the things that caused those problems or those disagreements. And if some of the fault was on your part, figure that part out. If maybe it's a bad behavior that you have on your character that you need to change. So figure out what went wrong. Maybe it is certain signs in the guy that you missed that now it's clearer to you now that you're away from him. And you know, note that down. And once you note down those things that you notice that were wrong with him, at least you know to avoid those same characteristics in somebody else when you see it in the future. And also looking within into yourself, the things that you did wrong. Cause like I said, it takes two to tango. So you can't put all the blame on your partner. Even if you know, he was the main reason why the relationship ended. You also have to reflect on yourself and ask yourself what you could do better moving forward. So once you figure all those things out, then you take the necessary actions to actually make those changes in your life. At the end of the day, you want to come out of this a much better person that you were before. Most of the time we look at difficult experiences as something bad or tragic that happens to us. But if you look at it from a learning perspective, it's you know it's giving you experience and it also allows you to grow as a person you will not be the same person that you were before so also try to look at it as a learning experience and also as a way to better yourself so now this brings me to my fourth point which is whenever you're going to you you're going to have downtime you you're going to have days that you feel sad and you are going to be remembering all the good times that you had and you're going to wish that you had somebody with you because going from always having somebody with you and always having somebody text you and call you and spending all your time with someone to completely being by yourself can be very hard so when you have those moments i feel like that will be the perfect time to occupy yourself with positive things that bring you joy and things that you love and genuinely enjoy doing and or you know this will be the perfect time for you to do things that you always wanted to do but perhaps couldn't do it because you were in a relationship so for me for instance what I did I did something productive and something positive that brings me joy and those two things was I went back to school I fought my way financially and everything to put myself back into school and so now I'm a full-time student so I was doing something very productive that would be worthwhile for my future instead of just sitting around and moping around and being sad about being heartbroken. I didn't have time to think about that anymore because I was occupied with doing homework and schoolwork. Another thing that I did was I invested in my YouTube channel. I love YouTube. Recording videos brings me joy. When I'm done editing a video and I hit that upload button and I see that, um, upload done or processing done and your video is now available i'm just so excited and i just can't wait to see the comments and to see how helpful my video is going to be for somebody out there so i made sure i invested in a new camera i invested in a new lens some lighting as you can see the quality of my videos have improved and whenever i was feeling sad or i felt alone or lonely i just come on here sit in front of the sit in front of the camera and i press record and that is, you know, occupying my time with something that I enjoy doing. And that took my mind off of things. And slowly and surely, I began to, you know, feel better about myself because I was actually doing something positive that I enjoyed. And I wasn't really thinking so much about what I was going through. So some of the things that you can do if you're into art, you can start painting again. You, if you love music, you can start listening to music. You can start singing again. You can volunteer if you love to volunteer and helping other people is going to bring you so much joy and you're going to forget about, you know, all the things that you're going through because when somebody else is less fortunate than you are, it makes you forget about 
your problems and it makes you realize how little your problems are and how much other people are going through. So you can volunteer your time to help others. You can do all the things that you love. And I also want you guys to remember that invest in yourself, invest in the well-being of your mind, your soul, your body, and everything else. The quality of a person that you are is not dependent upon whether or not if you have a man. A man should not, having a man should not validate the type of woman that you are. You are strong by yourself, you are independent by yourself, you are successful by yourself, and you have to give credit to yourself for being able to accomplish so many things on your own without a man. So once you finally get that man who compliments you, it will be like the icing on the top. It's not going to be the piece of the puzzle that is going to finally make everything click. Be whole all by yourself first. Make sure that you're good first before you try to take on somebody else. Okay, so my point number five is always, always give love another chance. Do not close off your heart. Don't let just one bad experience or two or three, I know some of us have gone through multiple heartbreaks, to deter you away from the goodness of love. Love is a gift from God. Love is what keeps us all together. Love brings us together. Love is the reason why we live. That love is what we live for. Nobody wants to be alone. Everybody wants to feel loved. So don't let what somebody else did steal your joy. That's how the devil gets you. If you let that one experience or multiple experiences, you know, deter you from your happiness and your joy, then that means that that person won. Excuse me, my mom was calling me. I'll call her back later. So that means that that person won or the devil won. And you don't want that. You don't want to give them that satisfaction. You want to emerge even stronger and greater and bigger than you were before. So don't give up on love. Don't close up your heart. When someone new comes along, open your heart to them, especially if they start treating you right. Don't let them pay for the mistakes of the other person. There's this Maya Angelou quote that says, have enough courage to give love a chance one more time and always one more time. So it doesn't matter how many times you've been hurt. Never give up on love, open your heart, and continue to live your life to the fullest. So these are my five tips that I have for getting over a breakup, especially around this time if you're feeling lonely. I hope these tips are very helpful. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you like these kind of discussion topic videos. If you have any other topics in mind that you'd like for me to talk about, let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you have experienced a heartbreak and if you have any ideas on how to get over it or what helped you get through it. Leave your comments down below in the comment section and let's have a discussion and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!